Well, good morning, fellow friends and family. Well, by the time you see this video, it probably won't be morning. At least for me, it won't be morning. Um, I, I woke up like around an hour ago and I wanted to continue this series of making new subspecies for Monster Hunter. Someone did mention that the screen was too small, uh, especially on phone. So I'm just gonna make it the main focus in the video. And I'll have some like background, you know, motion of like some gameplay or whatever. But yeah, as you can see, I already have in, in this top corner over here, I already have five monsters picked out. You guys gave me some suggestions um, and they're really good. And I took some from other comment sections that I saw in Reaver and I's um, collaboration. So forgive me also if this is very low energy. I Like I said, I just woke up like only an hour ago. But I really wanted to continue the series because I really enjoyed making the first one. And I'm sure I'll make, uh, I'll be enjoying future episodes or chapters. What do you want to call it? So today we're going to be starting off with Bolt Reaver Astalos. Well, I guess just regular Astalos, but I'm using the Bolt Reaver render because I just like it better. And my friend Reaver Jolt, actually, the, uh, the guy that I collabed with, he wanted an ice type, uh, a, you know, variation. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now the problem, this is a problem that I run into sometimes where like the colors are just too saturated and then if I desaturate it, it kind of looks iffy. Cause with glowing parts, actually that doesn't look too bad. I'll go ahead and desaturate that just a little bit. Uh, boom, perfect, there we go. Cause obviously we can keep uh, this blue, um, this blue horn. I think the blue horn obviously works with an ice type but I wanted to go for something a little bit more... I'm gonna, I want to see if I can get like a white, if that makes sense. Maybe not like pure white, but maybe... Maybe a darker blue? Or maybe a teal? Oh, actually that looks much better. It's a little bit brighter. Um, but it works. It works. There we go. So now... So the layer beneath, I changed the colors again. And it actually, these highlights are a little bit more um, bluish. There we go. Okay, so it will. But yes, I think I think we're pretty much done. I think uh, our ice type Astalos is is pretty much done. I think that looks pretty good, personally. You know, small changes because it didn't really need much because it was kind of it was kind of similar to it. But yes. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so the next suggestion that I got was a volcanic Legiochris. So this one's gonna be fun because Legiochris is obviously um, in my previous, in my first top 10 that I've ever made on the channel, I mentioned that Legiochris was obviously, you know, my one of my favorite monsters. He still is. I don't know in, in top 10 anymore, but um, regardless, I, I freaking love this monster. Now, I think Okay, so I think this red right here, maybe I need to saturate it just a little, mm, no. I want it more ashy, and I think that looks really good. Now, obviously, the blue does not reminisce with volcanic ideas, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and erase part of that, and then the layer beneath it, we're going to change the colors again, and I think that will do the job. That looks pretty good, honestly, I think. I think that just in general would be a good volcanic one, but I want to change the underbelly and things like that because I think that would really bring it home. All right, so now we can go ahead and change the underneath tone and automatically like we could do that. One thing I was thinking is like just desaturate it so it's kind of like more ashy like I said, and I think that looks really good. And I think that's what we're gonna do actually. I, I really like that that tone. There are certain parts where you kind of have to leave color, such as the mouth. Um, even if it's just something so subtle, like you, you can tell there's a different color change here from the layer underneath the original color of, of the mouth. But even then that kind of adds to it. It makes it a little bit more realistic. But um, I'm, I'm loving this actually, this looks really good. And I'll go ahead and erase a little bit of, of the blue here and it's okay actually if I kind of go over the the red because it kind of blends in with this ash uh, or old skin type of look. Do that one, a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit there. Um, and overall though, I think we're done. Yeah, that is a uh, our volcanic slash ashy Legiochris. That's pretty cool. I like that color scheme a lot actually. I'm I'm totally down with that. 
All right, so let's move on to the next one. So the next one I have is, I actually have to do some research real quick. Uh, yeah, right here. So let me go ahead and pull it up. That's the picture that he has, and he wants me to, I'm, I'm assuming he wants me to have similar colors to that. So I'll go ahead and do that. Um, I, let me, give me a second and I'll go ahead and read up on the physiology and whatnot. Okay, so I added two tails to kind of, that kind of like shake together and create this rattlesnake effect. This is the best I could do, okay? <laughs> um, I, I'm, I apologize for the person who uh, asked for this. I am, like I said, I'm not the best. I only know how to change colors. <laughs> um, but I honestly, th the way I blended it, it looks, it looks like it has two tails. So the idea is that it's like a rattlesnake type of uh, great gyros. So I'm, I'm imagining that those two tails will shake and then they will create this uh, rattlesnake effect that summon other gyros. Now, the color scheme is that of a... So obviously rattlesnakes live in the desert and or desert-like areas. So I'm obviously going to go with a desert-like tone. This is what he wants, a, an orange and a yellowish type of look. Uh, the gills are going to be a little bit difficult because I don't know if he wants the gills to be a different color, but we'll 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 see. I might add my own little flair. I hope you don't mind. Okay, so here's what I'll do. So we have that red undertone, right? So what I'm going to do is is I'm going to kind of give it that red undertone underneath its body. I hope you don't mind. I know it's a little bit different from what you wanted. Um, I just hope you don't mind me adding my little my own little flair to it. Something similar to that, but yeah, so that that actually looks pretty good. Per, I personally think so, but you may, you may be saying otherwise, random random viewer. Let me go ahead and get rid of that. Now, okay, so we have that. So there's also stripes on the on the tail and on the the arms, the legs, and there's a little uh, design that goes all the way down. So let, let I don't let me see let me see let me see what I can do okay, boom oh that looks good okay so now the spikes are are not the spikes the stripes are definitely showing up, and let me go ahead and add those stripes to the legs as well, just a little bit it's a it's a very subtle thing but regardless it is a wonderful uh, design choice I I really like uh, what he was looking for here. And there we go. That's pretty much our poisonous rattlesnake gyros. I, I like I said, it's hard to kind of go with uh, what other people are looking for. Um, maybe I could change the eyes a little bit to be a little bit more desaturated, um, and the brow as well. I don't like how the brow is looking, but yeah, there is our rattlesnake gyros. I hope, uh, I hope it satisfied you. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's move on to the next one. All right, so the next one we have is, nobody suggested this, but I remember seeing someone mention that they would love to have a pink Dodogama that had the poison element. So, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to do that because I freaking love Dodogama and changing his colors is actually a lot of fun. I may have played with it a little bit earlier, but look at that. So, boom, we have a purple underbelly right off the bat, but he wants more of a pink. That's what he said. He, said a, he just said a pink Dodogama. So we're gonna, we're gonna go with that type of pink. We're gonna desaturate it just a little bit. This one's gonna be easier, thankfully. I kind of make want to make the top a little bit more purplish, but we'll see, we'll see. And there we go. That's our that's pretty much it. So all I have to do is I just have to get rid of the green parts. Now I know there's some green here. If I get rid of that, I don't know what color it's gonna change it to. I can't remember. That kind of gets rid of. Oh, that kind of makes it like a toxic green. I kind of like that. We'll add some you know toxicity you know give it more toxic colors i think that's good i left some green here because i thought it looked good as well um but yeah that's pretty much our, our poisonous uh dodo gamma i really like the idea of having just a pur uh, purple slash pinkish dodo gamma i think it looks adorable so yeah I'm, I'm totally on board for this but yeah with dodo gamma finished i guess we can move on to our last contestant contestant whatever you get what I'm saying um it's Titsyaku now I have to pull up what he said because I've totally forgot um I know it was called Hunter Titsyaku which I think is a really cool name but I have to remember what he wanted so give me one second I'll go ahead and pull up the comment um so the coloration is silver with brown chest brown frill before it takes the photograph 
uh, normally silver. Red eyes, like in bad color photographs. Okay, so there we go. That's a. I think that's a pretty good brown undertone. Yeah, I don't know if you would agree, but um, so we'll put that underneath, and then we will go ahead and give Tetsuyaku the overall. Well, let me go ahead and duplicate this layer. Let me. So let me go ahead and give it that silver coloration. Now, obviously, silver uh, is just kind of desaturate and then make it a little bit more glossy. There we go. That's kind of a, that's a pretty good um, silver. But let me go ahead and get rid of the body so that it shows that brown underneath. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there we go. So that's part of the body. Let me go ahead and change the color, hue saturation. There we go. That's more brown than I originally had. It may be a little bit messy. I'm not going to lie. Um, I, I honestly did the best I could. Like I said, I'm not the greatest at um, doing this, but I honestly think like that's pretty brown ish. I'm probably just lying to myself. So what I did was actually uh, instead of I, I kind of changed the colors. I, I made it silver and brown i hope you don't mind i i it's kind of like a mixture in between the two forms like you were describing it something something along the lines of that huh okay and then we just do that 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 okay so there is our titsyaku almost done i gotta but uh yeah i i think i think i did a pretty good job on the titsyaku oh i almost forgot i need to make the the eye red Holy crap. Oh, there we go. Wait. Right there. Perfect. I'll desaturate it just a little bit so it's not too bright. But there we go. There we go. Now we have our Hunter Titsyaku. Jeez, I can't believe I almost forgot about the red eye. That would have been terrible. All right, so those are our five subspecies for the day. We have an ice type, a stylos, a volcanic slash ash legiacris. Then we have a Poison Great Gyros, a Purple Poisonous Dodogama, and of course, Hunter Tetsuyaku. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. You leave me some more suggestions down below. Like I said, I very much enjoyed doing this series, even though this one took me roughly an hour because there was a couple of challenges. The Great Gyros was the most challenging, uh, as well as the Tetsuyaku. I think they were both on par because... You know, there was a couple of interesting ideas that I had to implement, and I very much enjoy the creativity and the challenging that you guys gave me. So like I said, if you join the video, leave a like, leave a suggestion, and be sure to subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you in the next video.